<laughs> go ahead, Sherelle. I only had something little to say, but now I'm about to go on a diatribe since you made me wait. Why? Because I feel like that was rude. But no, I just want to answer the question, I think. But but Tommy already said it. Women are more hypocritical only because y'all crippled us. Take that. Take y'all patriarchal system where y'all start treating us like we was children and just protect the little babies and they can't. Yeah. Now we think we could get away with any fucking thing. Y'all create fucking monsters. And yeah, I'm not sisterhood to where I'm going to stand up for whole shit. And whole shit, when y'all, when men come up here and talk about hoes and whole shit, it's never going to offend me because I've actually never been a hoe. I actually ain't offended by none of that shit because I actually act accordingly. And girls, lover girls, good girls, we going out sad as fuck because the standards is in hell. So yeah, I'm probably going to die alone because a man is not going to take time to get to know me. Because bitches are sucking a dick them in, within the first 30 minutes. And I'm not competing with that. I don't compete where I don't compare. I'm not just, I'm not, no, never. I'm, I like long conversations on the phone until you find somebody else that's more interesting is going to give you sex. And then, you know what I'm saying? Our moment is over. Because I learned how to play the game that's going to benefit me. I'm not giving you my body. You don't want no commitment, no sex. Bye. Die alone. Okay, I'm going to make a lot of money and retire early and sit my lazy ass on the phone and talk to niggas for free. And I ain't got to do nothing. And they're going to keep on. Fantastic, no? I'm friends with all the guys. You know why my, my guys, my, my guy friends think I'm a wonderful person? You know what they also know about me? That bitch ain't fucking nobody. Fuck her. She our partner. You talk to my homeboys, they... <laughs> They think I have a penis. And that's the reason why I don't want to give them pussy. Because they think I have a penis. She she ain't gave that shit up in so long. Cause, Cause she ain't got one. That it girl's trans. That's what they believe. Cause that's what they're gonna get. They don't think I'm sexy. They don't think I'm pretty. They don't think I'm a, why? Bitch, I don't want to have sex with you. What well, are you my man? Do you pay my bills? You want to build a family with me? What's the long-term goals? And don't mean I'm just going to pick you because you pick me. You actually have to meet my standards. And if you don't meet them, we have fun. And we went a lot of places. And I had fun and you had fun and we all had fun. But the pussy don't come along with the, with the, with the, it's a certain level that it come with. We fucked you... up. They're like women fucked up the game, bro. The standards is in hell and they're winning. These niggas not about to get one up on me. A baby on me. You going to get me. I'm my mama child. My mama ain't raised none of her children. Listen. We can't keep going out sad for them. If it hurt your feelings, let it hurt. And let it hurt until it heal, which means change it. Heal it. They, if you're tired of them calling us hoes, <laughs> tell the hoes stop being hoes. These this is not making this up. Because I got guy friends. They sending me videos. I know what y'all doing in one and two days. Three days before you meet them, they didn't seen all your insides before you even meet them, just from conversation. I don't know who didn't love y'all. I don't know who, who, why your daddy didn't give you more values. I don't know what it is, but I want to fix you. I want to help you. I'm a woman's woman. I want better for women. I don't want you raising children by yourself. I don't want you catching STDs. I don't want your heart broke. I don't want you going out sad. I don't. I really don't. So I'm not going to kiss your ass. I'm not going to sugarcoat your shit. And people who love you, people who love you tell you the fucking truth. People who lie to you, you don't need to trust them. They fuck the fairy tale. This is not Disneyland. Sherelle, question. What, how do you differentiate yourselves from the women we heard this shit before from? The women who say it until they meet the right nigga. And then they face down ass up. How do you avoid that happening? What di how do you differentiate yourself? Because I'm me. Yeah, there was no reason for you to bring up Cynthia G. That is wrong. <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that like I said, it's gonna be always harder, which is where my confidence comes from. No, I'm saying but what's the what's the what's the overarching difference? 
there's those who talk it there's yeah. those who live it mm -hmm. i'm willing to go to the grave alone i retired myself mm -hmm. i'm willing to go alone this shit not, not... and it ain't about you that's my thing what we do women's purpose our shit it's not about you when y'all play on us we crying in the middle of the night by ourselves when y'all don't want to take care of them children we raising them by ourselves it's not about you women gotta stop it's not about them it's about us you think i'm gonna sit at home in pain so you can have a good time with me you think your one good night is mark me coming home feeling fucking worthless because i allow somebody in my body who don't give a fuck about me have me questioning myself if i'm not enough have me questioning my self-worth because i'm allowing men to continuously sleep with me deposit nut in me and move on with their life like i'm nothing and i get nothing do you know what that do to my what do to my psyche oh no when it comes between me and you, we got either be on one accord or I'm going to choose me. You ain't going to get one up on me. No. No. I don't care if you got to wait six years, ten years, three years, five years to get it. Okay. So you're saying that the 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 benefits simply don't outweigh the con cost. The consequences are too dire. You ain't willing to risk that shit. So you hold yourself to those standards. My piece ain't worth none of this shit. My piece ain't worth a STD. My piece ain't worth the single motherhood. My piece ain't worth that. Find your piece. My healness, I'm, no. If, I, if I'm if i up here and I'm doing good by myself and I treat myself well and I treat myself with self-respect, I, I respect myself. I'm disciplined. How you allow people to treat you is how you feel about yourself. If you letting niggas dog you out, you might as well walk on the ground on all fours because mm. that's how you feel about yourself you think sex that's before nigga think you about to play with me i'll be like you think sex before commitment is being dogged out yeah mm. i don't think i don't think women no woman should have sex before commitment if that's what she want if you want commitment don't have sex um. and what you need to realize if the ones that's not willing to give you commitment they weren't mm -hmm. gonna give it to you if you gave them sex question the commitment that you're speaking out about is the man monogamous in this it all depends on the situation that these that they want women are polygamous women are polyamory women are different now they're not you know what I'm, I'm, saying? Asking, I'm asking you for me yeah i'm monogamous all the way i know you are it does he have to be no a man gets the, a man because we're going into a contract with him his social contract of the commitment Whatever he sets, we have to agree with. Right? That's why I don't understand why men lie. No, set your program and then find the women who want to be on your program. No, I, I understand. So in, in a construct that you would um, sign a contract for, you would be monogamous on your side. Would you be okay with him being polygynous? No. He got to be monogamous too. So his pro... Oh, you're saying you find a man that you align with his program, whatever it may be. Or it has to be a monogamous program that you would go into. Yeah, I'm going for a monogamous program. Maybe in so 10 monogamous. years, I'll, I'll try a polygamous program. So, so monogamous program and no pussy for hot what? Come on. yeah. I've done this. I've, a whole nigga. I've done this. Y'all All right, crazy. Shout to Sherelle. Sherelle, a perfect wingman. I with my reality. I don't know what y'all got going on out there. Mm. Every man that's Definitely. ever been with me, I live with them. I call all them niggas and, and tell you. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. That's just a shitty contract. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the commitment first. You're gonna move me. Wait, in your how many you're not me and my daddy house. You're, yeah, you're gonna pay bills. You're gonna take care of me. You're gonna deal with my emotional distress. You're gonna deal with my ups and downs. And when you don't want to deal with it, I'm gonna pack my stuff up and leave. Oh, but you're saying the men that you moved in with, they got cheeks at least. Yeah. Oh, I. Right. I'm fair. But I'm they gave me commitment. They paid all the bills. Come on out, bro. Go ahead, Tommy. Oh, well, I'm, I'm saying that it, it just seems like it's not lining up. If she's 30 and she said everybody had to wait a long time, and then she said all the men. How many men could you have lived with in that amount of time? Three. Oh, because, you know, usually when somebody say all the, that sounds like a large number. Well, no, I, 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 I've been figured out. I didn't know what I was doing because 
like I said, I like good men, and I saw him making it work. I was like, I must be the problem. I gotta figure some shit out, and I've been figuring some shit out, but I've been figuring it out on my own. And so each man like waited what? Was, How long would you say they waited before y'all moved in and then sex happened? Each man. Um, eight months. The first one. The second That's not one. Really long. Shit, me. That's too long. No, no, no. Eight months go by fast, bro. Nah, Tommy, that's long as a motherfucker. No, let me tell you how it can go by fast. Most of the time, you could have, you could damn near have a baby in eight months. We live, we live together. We still wasn't having. Ain't no hell, no. Yeah, see, that's that's the part you missing, nigga. Yeah, no way. No, no. No, 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 no. Don't forget, nigga. Melt that chill. We live hey, together. Hey, no. Look, hey Tommy, all the fellas say hell no. Nah. That's why. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's like. I don't know what that's like. I think that's a different thing. I need you to match my. Tommy, you talking about in house though? In house. Yeah, in house. What happened when she said that? I told hell no. Okay. 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 No, we we were inseparable. My men are like my best friends. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, them niggas. Hey, them, them, (laughs) hey, them really some some good niggas, as you say. Yes, they are. I will shake their hand. Listen, baby, because hey, I did. Hey, he's gonna. Hey, don't ask me why I'm smelling like fucking Miss Dior. Goddamn, I I love love sexy discipline, man. Who can wait on a woman? No, 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 Y'all, y'all gonna have it washed up, and they gonna come find a real one. And I'm a low. Hey, hey, you know shout out, I'm shout saying? out to them, man. As soon, they, as, soon they, as soon as they leave Lauren friend zone, Sherelle gonna love them. You know. Jesus I think those Christ. are wonderful guys. If they said that living with you for eight months, mm-hmm. shit. It is what it is. He lived. I, 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 y'all are just laying up and cuddling and paying all the bills, Tommy. No fucking way, bro. That nigga's a donkey. Cuddling but, is cuddling is nice. Cuddling no, is my nigga. Hold on, hold on. Let me clarify. Let me clarify one thing. You live with Sean for eight months. You said, yeah. And 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 within the eight months, when did he get cheeks? Month what? Eight. No. Out of here. No, yo, you shit, <laughs> butt ass. This is not true. You stay for that? You serious? No. He wanted to marry me. I'm a nice Why girl. Get married? Huh? Why did y'all get married? Because then he wanted to have children and I wasn't ready for that. Jarrell, listen to me close. I want to make sure that we on the same. First, let me say this first. You know I love you, right? I just want to make sure we good on that part. Here we go. Yeah, I know you love me. Uh, hold on. Let me. God damn. Hold on. Brotherwhiskey.com. God damn. Mm. All right. <coughs> now, how long you talk to homes <coughs> before y'all moved in together? Just a couple of months couple months mm-hmm. and then after a couple months he you moved in with him yeah because he wanted to be in a, okay we met well i don't need no i don't need no contact me, i'm bro. just saying like he his his family and my family like all of my exes are close like i've only yeah, been you, you were familiar around. okay okay, okay yeah, so you can you can expedite the timeline because he wasn't a stranger all right cool okay so yeah you expedite the timeline but i was living with my dad right so, like, you think I mean you want to be in a relationship with me? You want to marry First me? You want to have sex? Let, with me? I'm asking the questions around here now. Why would, so, why would I be in my daddy house having sex with you? You a man? Okay. What are you, you move into his crib wow. two months? Because y'all already familiar, so you can expedite that timeline. You move in two months, boom, you in his house. He paying all the bills and all that. Majority That's of the bills. No, he pay all. I have no job. He taking care. He taking care of you and all that essentially. You cooking at least, huh? Holy God. shit. Nah, I cook. I didn't cook. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Hey, hey, man, I listen. I, I, you just breathing? Hey, Sherelle yeah, hey, is from New Orleans now. She's from New Orleans. Nah. She from New Orleans. Hey, hey, it's fantastic. Don't, don't, uh uh-uh. don't, don't, don't give her no out. Yeah, she might have come in a nigga food. <laughs> 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 fantastic. What food? She wasn't cooking, bro. There's no food. 
he had food. She just had had the the dog on it. You said she had a dog. She poking the dog, nigga. Go. <laughs> wrong, nigga. I, just remember, I used to buy stuff from the stove. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, wow. she might have she might have put some period blood in the spaghetti. Something. What spaghetti, Tommy? That you he know, getting this you know, shit from? Don't don't need it to it was some spaghetti out. around or something with red in it. And them New Orleans girls will put their period blood in. New Orleans niggas do not need to go in New Orleans niggas are nasty. All right, so hold your horses. All right, hold your horses. Hold your horses. So you didn't cook. Did you clean the house? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. I clean up. All right. You clean up everything. You wash his clothes and all that? Yeah. He was a construction worker. Did you, like, give him, like, okay, construct. Did you give him, like, massages or anything? Like, you know what I mean? He, okay. groomed, he groomed me into the sexual part of the relationship. Okay. So y'all have foreplay. Yeah. Y'all have <laughs> y'all have foreplay and things of that nature at least within the eight months? We had to groom me into it. Yeah. Pretty much. Why you keep touching your chin? Is that, are you signaling? <laughs> you grew you I'm into just saying it? like you. I'm, 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 like, that's the hand gesture. Wait, no, not what y'all saying. Nah, you, you not keep. Not hey, Tommy, my buggy, she keep touching the chick, didn't you? You saw it, Mister Fantastic, right? She keep grooming every time. Him. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. That's just. You know, that I'm leaving here with something, huh. goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> No, we, we, so, used to be, we used to be we used to be like we was really like homies like we was really like like my exes are all my homeboys like we used to just be chilling like for real like we, like, we ain't talking about, about them we talking about the nigga who waited eight months so i'm talking about him he was my boyfriend but he was also my homeboy like me and him. all right all right, all right cool, 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 cool 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 we, we like them too you know what i mean so eight months later he finally got the cheeks, paying your bills. You ain't cooking. You cleaning up a little bit. Y'all getting familiar, even though you're already knowing each other from proximity in eight months. And was he being faithful? To my knowledge. And that was a requirement as well. Yes. But I'm he had kids, and that's what she said. That's a bridge too far. <laughs> it I, was make so, sense. No, I was 21. I wasn't ready to be nobody mama. He didn't, did he say he wanted them right then? Yes. You made him wait on pussy. He couldn't wait on kids. In the moment we started having sex, he wanted kids. We broke up like that. Yeah, that, oh, that, oh, hey, hey, shit, I'm black. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, Tommy. Wait, wait, wait. Now this your motherfucking fault. Cause I, I know, I know one thing that ain't finna happen. I wait eight months and I put no motherfucking condom on. I can tell you that, baby. I'm uh, busting all up through there. The juggernaut, bitch. He went, y'all wear a condom? Oh, I don't want to ask you that. I don't want to yeah. ask you that. I don't want to ask you that. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I miss y'all missing no component. I was a virgin. Yeah. I never had sex with no other man. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool, great. But still, Thank like, okay, but yeah, I guess that's a lot. You moved in with a man as a virgin? I was a virgin. He was active. I, he had sex before. I was a virgin. No, I'm saying you moved in with a man knowing you were a virgin. He you knew did. I was a virgin when he met No, me. I'm saying you knew you were a virgin, so you're trying to sing to That's like me saying I gave this bitch my pin number knowing I didn't want to be robbed. No, I didn't, he didn't rob me. He was, he was, we was in a relationship, but it was like, you I know, know I'm saying, like, you typically would just be like, well, let's just date then. I haven't given this puss up to anybody. If I'm in this house, that comes with like a pressure I wouldn't want if I was a virgin. Yeah, yeah but I, I mean, I was open to whatever because we were going to get married. Mm-hmm. Oh, until he wanted a kid though you, That's you, crazy. You, because i feel like i didn't want to have kids until like my 30s i'm so hurt for son though no yes. but he's cool like, he sound like a good day, man yeah the man day, the other day you are proof that storm. good man finished last let me yeah. tell you the other day i got trapped in new orleans for a storm don't tell me he saved me. Out. he drove all the way from houston oh, oh my to, to you 30 in. why won't you marry him now oh he married did his oh, wife no. kick his oh. ass out? Yeah, he oh. married. He got he, he married. I, I was just at the little party. I it was and his baby mama, his if wife. I was, if, if he I was got a baby mama in the from Houston to New Orleans. He drove four hours to come get you with a wife and all that. I'm sure hey, you doing this and is your wife allowing it? I just gotta ask, Hamp, are you doing this and would your wife allow it? 
Yeah, Hell this, this, nah, this, nigga. Hell no. Yeah, and hey, that's what I'm talking about, respect. y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You need to take the game. Trust me. Stop fucking with these niggas who don't like you. The niggas who like you no. will climb mountaintops for you. Yeah, they but he should love his wife. Down for you. Trust me. Listen, what hey, about his this, wife, though? Sherelle, hey, Sherelle. I, quit, listen, I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to be controlled. No, and I'm I felt saying like he I came married, to get you. At the time, I felt like they was gonna try to control me, and men are controlling. Y'all are controlling. Dear, you, dear, you're missing something. Listen, he currently has a wife, and it sounded like he was about to say he has kids too, right? Yeah, he has. He, he has four kids now. His ex girlfriend, who did not want to be in a serious relationship with him, called him and said she trapped the one who said. This is years later. Called him and said, "I am trapped out of respect for the woman who gave him the children because that's what he wanted. The woman who gave him the marriage because that's what he wanted. He's an asshole, and there's not a woman out there that wouldn't agree with me. For him to come get a woman who, by now, since she didn't want what I was offering, should have several niggas who can pick her up because she in trouble. <laughs> that should not be the nigga doing it." That shit out is of respect terrible, for that man, and you know I'm a, I'm the type of nigga to say what's out of my I, whatever the fuck. But I say what's true. He's doing that woman wrong. That is fucking wrong for him to get up. I would have said to you, you better have a, a lot of niggas in your roller decks who are ready to come pick you up. I can't be one because I got a family. Why he can't under? Why he can't understand that I was good to him? Let me let, oh, I don't man, care. Let, let me get let me get let me get Mr. Man's kind of take in on a 50 mile radius that could take you somewhere that show you what kind of person you've been to other people. You should not be able to come have to go to your ex and ask for no money, know where to live, no nothing. Because if you're a person that's living well and doing well, you got friends and family who will do what a nigga would do. That's but this is my thing. All of my friends and family are trapped in the city with no likes because there's a storm. He's outside of the city. He's in Houston. Who's this nigga, Kyle L? <laughs> Damn. Mr. Fantastic, what's your take?